Hello everyone, Phil here with the week one update. So I'm just gonna show you quickly all the things that you should have accomplished. You should have accomplished creating the capture page and getting your affiliate link, making a short link, and building a buzz on social media. We're gonna go through all of that really quickly, but I definitely just wanna invite you to make sure you explore, get response, and watch the video tutorial videos. And when you click on video tutorials, you'll see the top two are email marketing and automation. You just need to go over these two right here. Click one or the other, and this one's going to explain the capture page portion, and then this is going to explain the autoresponders. So definitely watch these two tutorial setups. Now we're going to get into how to get your affiliate portion started and make sure that you get that complete. So first and foremost, in the top right right here, you're of your dashboard inside get response you're going to click on profile then you're going to go to affiliate program and click on that after you set up the affiliate program you know do your tax stuff you're going to have to pick on the dashboard do you want to do the affiliate bounty or do you want to do the reoccurring i suggest going for the you know reoccurring because that way you get larger commissions over time especially if you help people and they grow their list uh, very you know big but if you're just trying to get $100 one-off payments, then select that particular one. After you're done with that, let's see, you'll go down to the bottom and reoccurring program link. So you're gonna click your reoccurring program link and copy this link, okay? So copy your get response affiliate link. Next, in a notepad, paste your affiliate link and save it for later because now we're going to make a capture page. Inside your get response dashboard, not the affiliate portion, but back in the email builder, you're gonna click on create landing page. I say capture page because we're capturing information, but on here it will say landing page. Click on that. Once inside, excuse me, <clears throat> once inside landing page, uh, you have different types of landing pages to choose from. They have a lot of different types of templates to choose from uh, when you're creating it I want to make sure that we're using sign up and registration so click up on sign up and registration or just use a blank template I use blank templates because um, I don't mind sometimes just making it very simple but if you are tech savvy or just feel like you know you want to show more of your personality or express your design then just choose a template and play with it and rearrange the different elements inside of it but they have a lot of sign-up forms already created. I'm going to be showing you deeper into this how to create one. But I use something probably simple like this. Simple sign-up form. And then I just changed everything in it. So maybe see this one, click this template, and then I'll show you what the inside of mine looks like. So this is my simple, ugly landing page, capture page. I don't mind it not having a lot of frills because I really just want... The person to be not distracted very much and just get straight to the point so mine says ready to start the 10k in 100 days challenge um you know you really you really could say anything i could have said anything i could have been like you know are you ready to you know start a six-figure business in the next six months online you know i could have said do you want the best lead generation system known to man i could have said you know do you want to start making residual i could there could have been a bunch of different headlines but this is just the headline that i went with i suggest you to just Maybe research a lot of catchy headlines and come up with something yourself that you feel like would really, you know, capture somebody's attention. So then I added this video in the middle. I got a lot of questions on how I did this. And one thing that will help out the video, this is technical because this is coding, but is to put this little center code before you paste the video. Um, the center code before you paste the video. Uh, to even add more technicality to it, you could also adjust the height and width of the video. Um, inside the code by also when you adjust the video seeing what size that the video is adjusting to inside the thing but um i just left it you know how it is so where i got the video from was inside the reoccurring affiliate program part of the uh, dashboard inside get response then i clicked the video like john you could have used any type of video try all sorts of different videos but and then I copied it. And I could have used this photo or something like that, maybe if I felt like it. Um, but that's about it. So 
I just copied that and then I went here um, on the sidebar, right? And I just added HTML custom code, or you could have used uh, the YouTube um, drop video, drop and drag video. But I just went and added HTML code. I dragged it right here, and then I added the code myself. And then I put center, so I make sure that it's center on the website. And then I just saved it, and I just kept that submit right. And then I went to save. Um, but let me show you the mobile part before I move on. So then you also got to make sure it looks good on a phone. You know what I mean? So this is how it's going to look on a phone. It's going to look a little floppy or a little, you know, messy. So I want to see if I can just push this up or move this around slightly without messing up the other page. So let's see. And that's something that you might have to try to do is just adjust it a little bit. So the font might be too big for this size. So maybe we'll try this. That looks good there. Looks fine. And then let's see what happened here. Nothing too different. Double check. Looks okay. Um, let's see if I trash this. If I can make this larger. There. All right, so there's a little bit of adjustment. I feel like this looks good to me. I like the online version. I'm going to save that. And you will have to view it on your phone and look at it yourself just to make sure that it looks good to you. So we're just going to double check. Yeah, it didn't affect my other page. Oh, and the video on this page is different. So the code, I put the height and width 300 to 400. I also used the center code here also. So, and I try to fit it in between the lines. Got it. And then you go to next step. So next step, that's where you're going to get your capture page link. So you enter your landing page settings. I called this one lead machine. I uh, really didn't put much of a description. The URL that it's going to be hosted at. I chose the list. I only made one automated list so far, which is still successful. And it's going to start the day of the cycle if someone you know enters their email day one then the custom url remember i said copy in your little notepad your affiliate link from get response so then boom i'm adding custom url right there okay then i just publish it and that's all you got to do for the capture page portion oh so then after you know you publish it sorry i need to show you the link that you got to shorten so you publish now you are Boom, oh, now you are here. Now you can uh, get this link and copy that link, and this is your landing page link. Um, also, some of you might see this ad boost your landing page traffic with Facebook ads in Get Response. Um, this is actually worth a look, so if you do have a chance to look at it, this is helpful. I've looked at it myself. But now I'm going to view my landing page just to make sure it looks how I want it to look. Let's see, let this load up. Lead machine. Boom, boom. Ready to start the 10K in 100 days challenge. Maybe I'll add an exclamation mark there. Let's get started with your free lead generator and lead uh, generator and sales system. You also start earning 33% monthly commissions. I got a little video here, smaller than I would like it to be, but it shows it. And that's all I care about. Maybe I'll change the video in the future. Maybe I'll try a different video. And then they enter their name and their email address, and then it'll take them to. Uh, my affiliate link page so now i'm going to show you how to take this weird link and make it short then you go to this website bitly.com or bit.ly either one works but bitly.com and inside you'll see create new um short link right so you can create new link and then that's when you're going to put this super long link that you got um, in here that doesn't look like it's much of anything all right so you could put a title but then you can customize the back half so you can put your name uh, lead generation system or whatever business you're in I'm showing you the lead generation system and how to add your links 
from this standpoint. But if you in your capture page wanted to advertise a different business, maybe a clothing business, maybe an item on Etsy, maybe a different program, then, then change all of what I'm showing you to the affiliate links that you're trying to do. But um, for this, you know, example, it's just your name, you know, lead gen system. You get what I mean? Whatever you want to put. And then you scroll down and create it. And then that's it. And then that's how you get your short link. And that's how I have the link that I have on uh, my dashboard. So let me go to my links. And then free automated business. I just created this link. Get started today for free. You've probably seen it. It shows you. It's from this QR code. Gives me a little bit of information on where the traffic is coming from. So it's good to know. And helps me understand the locations of people. It's good to know. So definitely use this as your short link. All right. So that's everything you should have gotten done uh, so far. So I'm doing this with you guys. As you see, the things I'm showing you, I'm doing with you. So next, I'm going to show the type of ways you should have been in building, engaging, and, uh, building engagement and getting people to this link all right the 100 you know connections you should have been building or you can do it this weekend so that's the link we're going to be out there sharing oh yeah didn't want to forget to mention so you have to work on your autoresponders also so right now you should have about two to three emails so this is kind of what mine looks like so far and how you'll set this up is you'll just go over to here to on the left to create autoresponder so tap on create autoresponder let the page load up and it's way easier than writing a newsletter newsletters if you were doing like a one-off uh, email or something like that inside your tools but an autoresponder is one that gets sent out on the same you know whatever day from the sign up page and then you link the list you know you create the list here name the autoresponder and from your email address and then you can write the email subject line here and then you can design the page here and save it and send it on all from autoresponders. So as you make the list and go through create autoresponder, you can start adding on day one, two, three, or change the list or change the list name, um, you know, under edit name and make different autoresponders. But I'd rather you just keep one and keep everything in the same autoresponder sequence so you make one for your list called you know my list is called Phil successful that's the name of the list um, then the first email I sent out was daily growth so the first email I suggest you to write in your autoresponder or your day one autoresponder is an introduction email about you so when you go into autoresponders you create your first one for your capture page I'm just letting this load up uh, you create your first one for your capture page oh, this is dust then you will write a message similar to this one so it's gonna pull it up added the message all right it says uh, hello I think you, you probably received this email but I'm gonna give you the gist of what it is I just think somebody from subscribing and kind of explain who I am but the main point you want to do is here's how to find me on Facebook. Here's how to find me on Instagram. Send me a message. I look forward to working with you. That's it. That's my first email. And just, you know, you can go over here to add text and stuff like that. And then when you highlight text or anything at the top, that's where you can add links um, in the editor and that sort of thing. So it's not really that hard. You know, you could highlight social media, click the link add the link in the the, the you know this and this is really not difficult definitely watch the video on it but this is in the create auto responders portion and so that's the auto responder I set up and I set that up for day one like I said uh, they have pre-made designs that you can use but for this example I just use one that was plain as possible all right so let me take you to my next one as I mentioned before, all this stuff can be found in the tutorial videos, how to set this up and how to go through it properly. But what I did was for the next one, I went to create autoresponder. Boom, that's how I got this little you know email set to day number one. It's set to the same capture page title, the same um, everything. It still goes to the fill successful list. So the name of your first list is nothing different. Um, same, we're in the same place. 
This one I gave a different title, FB Group and Coaching, Feel Successful. I put it now, the day is one. On the next day, they're going to get it. And then here's what this message kind of looks like. And I invite you to kind of do the same. So this is the first one. I want to welcome you to the 10 days and 100 days business coaching. Or you could say, I want to welcome you to my offer. And this is what it is. First, I just want you to watch this live video coaching. You know, I just, or, you know, whatever item you're selling. First, I want to watch, you know, see this review of my SE product. Or first, I want you to see this review of my digital product. Whatever it could be. But I want you to watch that. Then after that, I want you to join our Facebook group by clicking here so you create your own Facebook group but you're gonna create that link also and put it in there and I got my preview link for my live coaching just from my Facebook and I pasted that in there uh, so if I click on it and go to the link it's just a Facebook link that I got from Facebook and then when I click on my group link it's just the Facebook group link added in there and then lead generation and autoresponder system is my affiliate link all right for the lead generation system all right then i added some value so found a good article kind of spin the article a little bit but i just kind of let people know why lead generation is so important and then i just kind of harped more on that you know i know a lot of people don't like the fact that get response says that you got to put like your address in the bottom of the emails but you can get a virtual uh address where you just receive mail at and um put that in there because that is what you have to do legally uh you know to the government is or not i believe something like that somewhere when you're sending emails to people it has to be in there or something but it can be a virtual address where you receive mail at it doesn't necessarily have to be your address where you live at so if that's any help but you can also learn more about that inside explore uh, get response and if you want just google virtual addresses or you know virtual mailboxes and that sort of thing if that is that a big a concern to you all right so the next one is the 10k in one day's week so this one is just immense value this one is i'm, I'm kind of you know pushing people towards something so if you're doing your offer your third email kind of be pushing them towards the offer you need you know we got 15 percent off today on our product you know here's the top 10 ways that you got to buy this right now or whatever it is but mine is just same thing i set up the same autoresponder same list day two uh, then i sent out this email this one i used a template for um because i want to start you know standing out a little bit more being like oh wow you know the emails are getting better it's looking better and, and be more impressive so I, I like this template so i stuck with it i kind of broke it down with you know what people should be finished Watch this overview, you know, sting video, set up your lead generation system, create a buzz, follow up and con connect, and then next week, uh, you know, what we'll be doing. And the overview coaching video was a special video that went to my YouTube. So I'll show you the link for that. So I had just uploaded the video exclusively to YouTube and let people know how long it is again put my affiliate link again to get the lead generation system so you got to find a way to do this in your own way but i'm just showing you the way that i'm doing it like i said if you're not doing 10ks you know you could do week one of lead generation secrets you get what i mean and tell your lead generation secrets and then you know sell that and then i kind of just put the tasks how to build the buzz how to follow up and connect I encourage the side gigs and then, you know, just uh, don't forget to watch the video and then boom, see you there. All right. So that should explain the auto, you know, responder portion. Then I saved that video and I sent that to the list. And then those are the main three things that you should have set up when it comes to your auto responder on get response. So I'm inside Facebook and let me just show you a quick engagement strategy on how to bring people back to your fro your profile. So first thing you should do on your profile is post some things that you want people to engage with. So everybody changes, but not everybody improves. Leave a comment if you're ready to level up, all right? Um, next one, maybe an info pick with, you know, something that's a short story. You know, 3,000 a month 
uh, monthly residual income, free initial cost, no network marketing. Sometimes life just sends you something miraculous. I almost missed out on this one. You know, comment for information. And then I got some comments. I have some likes. But I also did an infographic. All right. The next one, I did a live video. And I also put the link I'm showing you uh, right here, you know, in the the video. So now they see it. Boom. And they can sign up for get response through me. So I put the video here. I went live. And I pretty much talked about going, you know, live. I also got a dollar in stars from it. So just saying, it's worth it. Um, I added another post. Looking for small business owners who want more customers and profit. Got a good response from that. 34 comments. So I posted a little bit of content. Promote your page. I let people who were out there promote their page on my page. Because what I was doing was I was just letting them know that I can coach them in what I'm doing. And I'm sending out my link back. You get what I mean? So I allowed them to promote first, and then I went out and I promoted you know, to them, and I built the connection with those people. That's what I'm telling you to do. Build the connection with these people, You know, looking for small business owners who need help. Okay, I would love that. All right, I sent him the information. I sent him the link. You know, I sent him the information. I sent him the link, and then I inboxed him the information. Um, then I put out the 10K in 100 Weeks Challenge. You know, this is also seen as value to people who are just looking but not ready to follow along. You get what I mean? Um, I put out a lifestyle thing, you know, Happy New Year 2020. This is my goal. Who's ready to make it happen? And then I got some likes and comments, and I even replied back to, you know, some of these people and messaged them. You get what I mean? And, and I guess it's not loading for now. I'll try to make it load. But regardless, I posted a lifestyle. Then... I posted something that annoys me or that makes people skeptical. So I'm not good at recruiting. I never make any sales. And then, you know, I just made a short story about it. Simple answer is you probably don't generate leads. When you provide value of some kind of secret behind your audience, people start to like you more, trust you more, and like what you're doing. But when you capture that leads, that's when you take things off social media. And I kind of explain the difference between throwing a link out there and the difference between what we're teaching as lead generation. So I built some interest on that. I got some people who, you know, wanted more information on that. You know what I mean? And I sent the links out. You, know I mean? you got to get in the process of doing that. All right? I did a live. I showed a little bit of social proof. You know, if you don't have some yet, don't worry about it. Did a lifestyle video, just me walking around, you know, and just doing normal things to show that you are just more than a sales agent. You know, you're there's a real person. So, First, you put out all your content, right? Make sure you got your links out there and all that. Then, let me show you this engagement strategy really quick. So then, go to your, when you're inside your profile, go to your feeds, all right? Then, you know, you see inside your feeds people who are posting right now, all right? This is how you can get their attention right now. So this person put a quote, you know, uh, befriend the man who is brutally honest for honesty is the highest form of respect to you. Go, okay, cool. You know, and then now it even gives you something to say. So I'm going to do, you know, 20 or 30 of these, uh, you know, just to gain, you know, a little bit of traction. So I really won't go through the groups too much. I might sift through a little bit if there's anything that looks cool. But life is a flower in which you love. You know, that seems cool. I'll engage with that. So I'm, I'm only, this should only take a couple of minutes, 20 minutes. All right. So then after that, I'm going to go to friends and I see some people who just now started posting. All right. Everything you thought was true based on perceptions of others. You know, okay. I did the thing. Okay. Someone posted some food. Now you see, this was a live video. All right. I'll leave a comment. Now you see these people are just recently recruited or just recently posting. So I'm just commenting back, I'm just showing interest because I would like them to come back to see the post that I have. And it doesn't really take uh, a lot of effort, you know? So like I said, 100 in a week is not that hard. So you just build the connection with the comment and then when they connect with you in the you know comments or you try to take things to the inbox and say hey you know I'm working on this thing can I send you more information I'm working on this thing can I send you more information I'm working on this thing can I send you more information and then so that's simply this is a simple strategy these people are recently posting um, you know he's 
posting something that happened to him that's crazy that just happened so I'm like dang you know that sucks uh, somebody posted a funny meme and it doesn't take too much effort on your end to just take a moment and show people that you're active and so I think I'm done for now you know I could do you know a lot more this has only been about two minutes but that way you get more people to start engaging back on your profile. Then you can go into the groups that you're a part of. But this is a little weird because, you know, depending on what groups you're in, some people just, you know, post the oddest things. So you have to really fan through it and make sure that, you know, you find something good to comment on on groups. You are always welcome challenges and open arms and amazing. A lot of people can't do that. You know, that seems cool. Somebody said something cool that I like. And so maybe, you know, I'll just leave a comment on that. Um, this is actually probably an old screenshot of mine, so that's weird. It could be, it could not be, but it looks very familiar, just saying. But send me some information, whatever, let's build that connection. Uh, hello, anyone interested in getting their whole house? Vince? So, you know, and the groups are a little, you know, hit or miss, there's a lot of things going on, but mainly I focus on the friends portion of it. So yeah, I think I'm going to just get on with that. But go into your feeds and just engage with people who are just recently posting. That's a really good engagement strategy. And then start following up with people and telling them about your leads. And uh, do tell them about your landing pages and that sort of thing. So let me just refresh this. And then just go through the posts. Boom. Boom. You know. And just make it a habit to do, you know, a little bit each day. And so now you got your content out there, you got your capture page out there, everything is on your page. People, you know, people are coming back to your page, they're engaging. You did a live video or at least attempted one. It's right there. Boom, capture page right there. The cool thing I like about it is when you go live. I'm gonna teach you a skill that all valuable business owners need to go know. Go live. My chair's kinda sure. squeaky. Boom. But get started for free. It's whatever. Anyways, so I'm gonna teach you a Pops valuable in the skill video. that all business owners. That's why I say go live. The basis of a product. All right. So when you go live, sorry for talking over me, but when you go live, it talks. I mean, it uh, pops up the landing page in the live, which I think is really good for leads. And so that's what you should have accomplished by the end of uh, this week, or try to get that done this weekend. I invite you to try just different posts, different things to put on your page, you know, like I said, do a, a today's life quote, show you hiking or, you know, going outside, taking a walk, and then also get into your businessy stuff, show your value, show the things you've taught. And that's pretty much what you should have finished by the end of week one. So if you guys have any more questions or anything like that, feel free to go to my group. I might have a group on, you know, Facebook also. You should have already joined it. In groups, my groups, fills 10K in 100 days challenge. So if you go here, uh, message me, and um, you know I start making sure that we can. Uh, I guess I can start making sure that we can connect. You know, let's see, I clean up. So I just got to reach out and you know I'm connecting and making sure that we're showing support in this group and then. Uh, some people are posting some of the things that they have going on. So I'll definitely double check their stuff and just make sure I clean up the group every day. Because I don't mind if people post value and things like that in here. But I always make sure I tag everybody and pin at the featured part the 100 Days Challenge, what you should be doing, the videos. And then, like I said, and I'll finish it like this, you know, everybody needs a side hustle while they're working on making something grow. So... If you need a side hustle, definitely check into this link, which is just Flex Jobs. And um, you can click this link right here, and it'll pretty much show you a lot of work from home, remote jobs, and sort of things like that. So that's it. That's everything. Um, thank you for watching, and look out for week two's video.